Enemy ACAC fire grows heavier. That's Tom Jacklin going in. Looks like he's been hit. No, he's pulling up. This is a hot spot. That's flak coming up, and there are four shells for every tracer you can see. G'day everyone, it's NQ Explorers again. Um, I'm once again in the far north of Australia uh, on remote Cape York Peninsula at the site of a Royal Australian Air Force uh, Advanced Operational Air Base from the Second World War. Today I'm in a different area to where I've been hunting previously uh, on those previous videos you may have seen. Today I'm in the uh, area of the Repair and Salvage Unit, the RSU. Now what you can see here is the uh, remnants of the main uh, RSU hangar, maintenance hangar and salvage hangar. Um, this base uh, was home to um, number 7 squadron, Royal Australian Air Force, which was a Beaufort squadron. There was a detachment of Volte Vengeances of uh, 23 squadron here, and also 75 uh, fighter wing uh, had their headquarters here for a period of time in 1944, so a lot of activity. This um, salvage unit, uh, well the name self-explanatory, it's uh, for salvage and maintenance of aircraft, uh, damaged aircraft which were coming in from New Guinea from uh, operational raids there. Now, uh, as you can see, this hangar was a, quite a substantial structure with these large concrete uh, support arms out here with, um, with metal attachments. Uh, would have been a, uh, a large uh, dome-shaped hangar. Now, out in the bush out here to the um, east of this position, out in this direction, there was actually uh, the main camp for the uh, salvage unit and there was actually a uh, bush pole uh, and canvas uh, picture show, a cinema. There was a chapel recreation hall and there were transit huts for uh, uh, air crew who were transiting to New Guinea or south back to Brisbane. So uh, I'm going to go for a walk in here. I haven't been in here before. We'll see what we can discover in the bush and then we'll get the detector out and uh, see what relics come out of the place. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back shortly. Well here's my first find from the repair and salvage unit and it's something you'd expect to find in an area where they're repairing and servicing aircraft. 50 caliber shell. Uh, be able to see the date on there, eh? It's 409042. Um, RA 1942. Okay, good one. Righto, on we go. Well, I'm not far from that maintenance hangar I showed you in the intro. Uh, I've wandered around, I found a few uh, targets like lead roofing nails, but I found here what I'm probably actually looking for in the back of my mind a bit of aeroplane. Check this out. There's two pieces here, and they're quite substantial. I may be able to identify these to type. This is what you expect to find at a salvage unit, I guess. Okay. I want to have a close look at this, and see if I can identify. We'll get any markings or paint off these things. This one here is a hinged, you can see a hinged uh, section there. Oh, yeah. Obviously a battle damaged aircraft, that could be, they look to be parts of the wing. Battle damaged aircraft and they, uh, the pieces are just sent off into the scrub when the, the broken parts, look at that, that's stainless steel eh? Okay, there's traces of that zinc chromate primer on there. And a hinge section. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, that's what I was hoping to find in here, bits of aeroplane. So, well, I'll study these closely, and if I get any information off here, like a serial number or a uh, or any sort of part number, I'll subtitle it and I'll identify it to aircraft. Um, logically, they'd be either Beaufort, Kitty Hawk, could be Volte Vengeance. Um, but again, Spitfires, Boomerangs, the whole lot came through here. C-47s, of course. Okay, well, that's not bad. I'll, uh, I'll just keep scouting around here and uh, see if I can pick up other stuff on them. Okay, well this may be a part of a tail plane or a fin rudder assembly. That looks to be flak damage. Any aircraft gun damage. Um, it's not damage that it's incurred while it's been laying here. Um, it's definitely been torn. Yeah. It appears to be an aerofoil section, so it may be part of the, uh, the tail plane. And this piece here, also aerofoil section. 
but uh, I haven't dis I haven't discovered any markings. Anyway, I'll, cle I'll clean them up and I'll see if I can get any uh, serial numbers or any lettering on them, and uh, we'll identify them if we can. Okay, on we go. Well, my next series of targets are all concentrated together. There's this aluminium cover of some description, maybe an aircraft part, and a set of uh, copper gaskets of some description. Two different types of uh, copper gasket, but they're all together, all these targets. So. Um, I don't know what they are, but they may be aviation related. We'll uh, just uh, stay in this area for a little while and see what else comes out here. Okay, the next find's another surface find, another unidentified aircraft part. Um, a little scoop of some description, a ejector port, something like that. Aluminium, very lightweight. Okay, oh well that's alright. It's what you'd expect to find in a uh, salvage unit. Well, I may have just found the remnants of the motor transport section of the uh, repair and salvage unit truck bodies. Looks like a a tanker truck body there, and these are the uh, canopy frames off blitz trucks uh, for the canvas. Looks like a chassis over here. Yeah, they're definitely canopies off the back of the army trucks, or the air force trucks. Yeah, and there's a truck chassis here, or a vehicle chassis of some sort, perhaps not a truck. There's some uh, old batteries laying around and battery boxes and that sort of thing. That's interesting. Wouldn't be hopeful of getting any information off that old chassis. But uh, yeah, there's the canopies off the back of the truck. I know what this framework here is. Now there's bits of uh, bits of old uh, relics laying around all over the place here. Okay, well, well, it keeps scouting around. Well, I've just found the second of the uh, of the two maintenance hangers slabs that were in this area. Is an old. Uh, inverted truck chassis here, complete with a leaf spring set and uh, it's quite a large slab this one and it's similar in uh, construction to the uh, one I showed you earlier there's another truck body over there all bent up in the bush another truck chassis here this is the main uh, hangar proper I'd say any vehicles that were no good at the end of the war they obviously just bulldozed them into a heap just the chassis left of them or maybe they were part of uh, repair work that had been done, some sort of uh, heavy lifting frame there and these similar uh, similar construction to that first lab with these uh, maybe they were some sort of uh, lift, uh, pulley and lift arrangement to lift uh, parts and components out of aircraft and vehicles but it was an aircraft maintenance unit so it's more than likely for aircraft so uh, yeah that's the second hangar slab in the uh, repair and salvage unit well I've just come across a curious little collection of items here which comprises a rusty old bucket some uh, pistons, out of an engine there's three pistons, an engineer's vice, and more pistons, and it looked like a headlight. That looks like a headlight, perhaps. A light of some sort, a teapot lid, an enamel lid. <laughs> What's going on here? A spout? Curious. That looks like a headlight, doesn't it? I'm not sure. Some little electrical parts. So obviously a maintenance area. These are uh, vehicle bits and pieces. And a vice makes sense. Righto. Well, I've just discovered another bit of aeroplane in the bush. I've leaned it up against a tree here to illustrate it. Uh, it looks like a fuselage rib. And by the profile, it appears to be a Beaufort. About the right size and curvature. As you can see where it's been riveted. Once again, it's probably been uh, a damaged aircraft with a part replaced. Because uh, 7 Squadron Beauforts were based here for quite some time. And they were flying combat missions out of this strip, so uh, I'd say that's a Beaufort uh, fuselage rib. Okay. G'day everyone, it's NQ Explorers again. We're on another uh, World War II outing today uh, on a visit to a uh, early warning radar unit uh, of the Royal Australian Air Force in uh, far northern Australia on Cape York. What you're looking at here is a Bailey Bridge that was built by the United States Army 91st uh, Engineering Battalion uh, for accessing the site and a wharf out here for unloading materials for the airstrip uh, where you've seen me hunting. So the old Bailey Bridge still in use as the uh, 
as the road out to the site. There is actually a, uh, a crossing down there in the creek, but in the wet season that's impassable. You can get through there uh, at low when the water's low at the end of the dry. But yeah, the old Bailey Bridge still in use and uh, still in pretty good condition too. Okay, on we go. Well here we are at the actual radar tower site and the old tower is still standing after all these years. Hasn't detected anything for a while. But uh, this is a, an Australian built version of the English uh, chain home low radar set. This is a chain overseas low. As you can see all the um, traversing gear and mechanisms still in place. And uh, there's a couple of uh, 50 caliber machine gun pits uh, in here but look at the grass. It's going to be a bit difficult to discover those. Actually, maybe a bit difficult to do any detecting. Yeah, look how overgrown it is. But anyway, that's the main radar ahead. Down in this area here is the camp area where there's some concrete slabs. There's a mess, there's a kitchen, uh, officers and sergeants mess, and airmen's quarters and that sort of thing for the uh, RAF personnel who were stationed here. So there she is. It's a uh, chain overseas low uh, early warning radar. No worries. So we'll go down and see if we can find those concrete slabs in the camp area.